Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my first Halloween tutorial of the year, and this is obviously Wonder Woman. So when Wonder Woman, the movie, came out this year, I fell completely in love with it. It was by far one of my favorite movies that I've seen this year. So I definitely knew I wanted to do something for Halloween inspired by it, but I did not really know what I wanted to do because in the movie she doesn't wear a lot of makeup and her costume is more based around the clothing. So I really wanted to do something that was more focused on makeup and that is why I created this comic inspired Wonder Woman costume. So this is more so based on the makeup. It has the classic bold red lip and the headband we made out of makeup today so I definitely think that this is a very easy tutorial and costume idea if you are looking for something you could definitely add some two-dimensional lines to your face just to kind of give it that more comic pop art sort of feel so if you would like to see how I created this Wonder Woman costume then just keep watching I have already primed and set my eyes I just used some concealer and translucent powder now I'm going to be taking the Sonia Kashuk Eye on Neutral palette and I'm going to first dip in with this sort of orange shade and I'm going to use this as my transition color. Now I'm going to dip in with the shade right below that which is just a red tone brown and I'm going to put that deeper into my crease. Now I'm going to take a little bit of this very dark brown and I'm going to put that in the outermost corner. Now for my lid shade, I'm going to be going in with the Maybelline Single Shadow and this is in the shade Gold School. It's just a beautiful gold shade and we're going to use this all over the lid. Now I'm just going to go back in with that blending brush with no additional product and blend out the edges of that gold. Now I'm going to highlight my inner corner and brow bone and I'm using the Maybelline Master Chrome in the shade Molten Gold. I'm just going to use this as a highlight for my eyes. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply some liner and lashes and I will be right back. So now my lashes are on. I just did a little wing and some bold lashes and now I'm going to move on to my brows. So she does have a little bit thicker of a brow, a more bold brow, so that's what I'm going to be going for today. I do have a tutorial on how I do my eyebrow routine so I will link that in the cards. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly follow along with that but just making them a little bit thicker. So I did my brows and I want to add just a little bit of glitter so I'm going to be taking the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art. And this is in the shade Topaz Twinkle. I'm just going to take the glitter side of this and put a little bit in my inner corner. As you can see, that just gives it a little bit of a pop. So now we are going to move on to our face. Now if you are going to wear this for a long period of time, you definitely want to prime. So I am using the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. And for foundation, I'm going to use something that has a pretty full coverage. So this is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation in the shade Light Beige. So I didn't realize that my camera stopped recording, but what I did is I applied the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation and just blended that out all over my skin. Then I went in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Sand, and I just took this under my eyes only. Since we are going to be applying a headband, I didn't want to highlight my face because it will get covered up. And then I went in with the Koki Cosmetics Contouring Kit, and I just used the bottom middle shade to contour my cheekbones. Once again, I did not do anything on my forehead because that will be getting covered up. And now I am taking the Maybelline Master Chrome in Molten Gold, and I've been highlighting my cheekbones, and I need to highlight my Cupid's bow and tip of my nose. And now I'm going to be moving on to the headband portion of this. Now the first thing I'm going to do is take some black liquid liner to outline the shape. And I'm just going to start in the middle and then bring it out to each side. And I'm just going to make it as even as possible. I 
think that's about as even as I'm going to get it. So what I'm going to do is first map out where I want the star to be. And for that, I'm just going to take a red lip liner and I'm going to draw out my star so that when I'm applying the gold, I know where to avoid. So now that I have that mapped out, I'm going to go ahead and start with the gold. For a base, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Color Tattoo in the shade Bold Gold. This is just a gold cream shadow and this is really going to help create a good base for the shadow we're putting on top of it and make that gold color stay on all day long. I'm using my finger just to apply the bulk of it because I do feel like when you use your finger with these types of products, it really warms up the product and makes it a lot more emollient and easy to apply. Now I'm going to pick up a synthetic brush and use this with a flat angle to sort of carve out and define where else I need to put this product. Now to really set that cream shadow in place, I'm just going to go in once again with the Maybelline eyeshadow and I'm going to use a big packing brush to set all of the cream shadow. Now to add some dimension, I'm just going to go back in with that master chrome and put that right towards the arches of my eyebrows to sort of give my face some more dimension. Now you could leave it just like this, but I am going to add a little bit more. So for the star, I want it to be glittery. So what I'm going to do is first go in with the NYX glitter glue and I'm going to apply this to the star and then I'm going to go over it with this loose red pigment from Tattoo Junkies just to make it stand out a little bit more. I'm going to put on a red lip. So for that, I'm going to be using the Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream in the shade Devotion. Okay guys, so this is the completed look. I think that it really tied together nicely and this is a look that you could definitely whip together quickly even if you just put on a red shirt and maybe a blue skirt or blue pants or something like that. I think the face makeup is more than enough. You could definitely go ahead and add some lines to your face to make it more comic-like or more two-dimensional, but I think that this is a very pretty but still festive costume. Be sure to leave any other Halloween tutorial suggestions down below. I think Halloween is such a fun time of year, especially in the makeup world. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.